Hello, I'm Nikias and today I'm going to show you my diploma thesis work. This is an energy harvesting circuit with a little bit of data acquisition. It's an MSP430 from Texas Instruments and I have a counterpart connected to USB. It has a 2.4 GHz um, transceiver chip and I have my energy harvesting generator and my energy harvesting converter circuit and I have a little software here which just shows the incoming data on the serial port of the USB connector here and now I'm just showing how it works I'm moving my generator and while I'm doing this you can see in the background that there is data incoming and this is uh, the result of the FFT running on the MSP430 the MSP430 is turned on for a couple of microseconds. Does a quick sample with the analog digital converter and does the FFT and sends it over the 2.4 gigahertz band. The energy is enough to get through uh, two concrete walls or over uh, around 100 meters. And uh, the interesting thing is that it takes nothing more than just this movement here. This part could be mounted on a rotating shaft. Um, or on any vibrating part. It's a low frequency converter. Um, the highest frequency is about 2 Hz. And um, the converter circuit has a minimum input voltage of around 500 millivolts. It uh, has an efficiency of around 45%. It has uh, no controlling circuit. It's uh, swinging. And it is an AC-DC converter. Output voltage is uh, around 3 volts. It has a storage capacitor and it stores the energy until there's enough to run the microprocessor for a couple of micro microseconds. And the microprocessor can turn itself off, um, leaving no power left for the microprocessor and uh, charging the capacitor until the voltage has reached uh, 3.1 volts again. Yeah, that's about it. I'll show it again. This is all it needs. I have a smaller generator too, uh, which is about um, one fifth of the size, which takes a little bit more movement. I'll show you that next time. Yeah, there's the data incoming in the background. Just prove it again. I hope you enjoyed the show, and see you next time.